We are seven days into 2021 and the year is already off to a crazy start. That doesn't mean I'm gonna let this year slow me down. What's going on guys? I'm Brandon, I'm a realtor here in Los Angeles County and I have some big goals of what I want to accomplish in 2021. I wanna share what those goals are with you guys and I wanna hear what you guys are planning to accomplish in 2021 as well. I've been a full-time real estate agent since the end of 2017. Now, since then, I have been on real estate teams. So this is gonna be my first shot doing everything on my own. So I wanna make sure 2021 counts and I wanna leave my mark in the Los Angeles County real estate market. So in 2018, I was able to close 16 transactions. 2019, I did 25 transactions. 2020, I did 22 transactions. This year, I want to bank all those records. I want to shoot for 32 transactions. Let me show you guys exactly what I need to do to make those goals possible and what things I need to work on and improve on to make sure that I can make 32 transactions a reality. 32 transactions in the Los Angeles County market is an amazing number to reach. Now, out here where my average sales price is about 750 to 800,000, you can imagine that that would do very well for my family financially, but as well as my business as far as helping 32 different families, getting my name out there, making great relationships with people and growing my business. Now, all right, all right, this is all just talk about what I'm trying to accomplish. Let me tell you guys exactly what I need to do to actually make 32 transactions possible. In order to sell more homes than I ever have before, I'm gonna need a prospect and I'm gonna need to work harder than I ever have before. Now, I've already talked on my channel about prospecting. How I'm gonna reach this goal of 32 transactions is simple. I'm gonna be aiming towards calling expired listings canceled listings for sell by owners, for rent by owners, and circle prospecting neighborhoods that I either have an active listing in or just closed a sale in that neighborhood. I'm also going to be utilizing my past clients, okay, people that I've worked with in the past. I want to see if they can feel comfortable enough to refer me, their own friends or family. I did an amazing job for them. I hope they believe that I'll be able to do an amazing job from their friends or their family. Another system I'm gonna be using is my Redfin partnership program. I am partner with Redfin, meaning that they do refer me clients and it's a 30% referral fee once I close that client. Now I've been working with Redfin for about eight months, so I have a good relationship already with them and I'm hoping that I can see myself close at least seven or eight transactions with them this year. Why do I wanna close 32 transactions? I've always wanted to be a real estate agent. Since I was a kid, my parents were in real estate. I've seen what real estate can do for a family. I mean, we've all seen it. It's, the talk about real estate is everywhere on YouTube. But to be honest, I don't wanna do anything just to do it. I wanna do something to be the absolute best at it. Real estate is something that I'm very passionate about and I want to be the best at this and I wanna show that I'm moving forward and growing my business. I don't wanna move backwards. So being able to surpass and sell more homes than I ever have before, it would be a very good fulfilling accomplishment for me. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandon and we are standing in the living room of my newest listing. This is a super cute two bedroom condo in a great part of Pasadena close to some awesome restaurants and some awesome shopping that you can do. This is gonna be priced at 625. Now this property is actually an expired listing. So it had sat on the market for 90 days, didn't sell. That contract with that, age, with that previous agent came to an end and I was able to get in touch with them, get them to work with me. But told them we can't list it until we do some things to get this property into the best shape it can be. Let me show you what this property looked like beforehand when it was on the market last time compared to what it's gonna look like when it's listed with me. New listing that we got coming up. Two bedroom, 1300 square foot townhome in Pasadena. The goal is that this place will be repainted. We will have all these cabinets repainted with new fixtures, cleaned and staged by the end of the month. Let's go. Now let's take a look at the property. We just had the property staged and we're having photos taken later this afternoon. Let me show you what it's gonna look like when I bring it to market. So here we are in that same living room. The staging makes this property look so much better, so much more alive. You can see those cabinets there. We just had them painted white. Let's take a look at the kitchen. We're gonna switch out these bulbs before the photographer gets here to lighten this place up. But I mean, even that alone just makes this kitchen look a lot better. Painting these cabinets, gotta close that cabinet. 
This wall here, remember how dark it was? Painted it white, look at how much nicer it looks. And let's go take a look at the upstairs. Great use of space, a little home office for you. And then to our left is gonna be our master bedroom. Now this place technically has two masters. This is actually, you could consider this a master as well. Look at how big this room is. So this is a home I'm really excited about. It's always, it's so fun to take a property that sat on the market, did not show very well at all. We came in, we fixed it up, and I know this property is gonna be a very hot property. And I know a new owner is gonna love this place. So thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk with you soon.